Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're reading through the book of Malachi, the last prophet, the last book in the Old Testament. We're reading through that devotionally, and we're at chapter 3, and we're at verses 11 and 12. So let's just take in today's reading, and then we'll look at it together. Now, you know this is about returning tithe and offering. We've just been talking about that. Let's pick it up at 11. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. So again, there's what you have. God is making a promise. He just promised in verse 10 at the bottom, the end of verse 10. I'll pour out a blessing. If you're faithful to me, I will pour out a blessing to you that'll be beyond vastness. You won't even be able to count it. It's going to be so extraordinary. You'll be amazed. Now we have verse 11 where he says, and I'm going to do this. Listen to this. I'm going to rebuke the devourer for your sakes. And then we have the fruit of the ground. He's not so that you're going to have a plentiful harvest. You're going to have a plentiful harvest of grain, of vegetables, of fruit. You know, you're going to get some good strawberries. You're going to get some awesome apples. If you live in a place where you can, uh, sorry, I love apples. So then we have the vine. The vine will not fail to yield you fruit. It's a promise from God that if you're faithful to him, he's going to make the things that you're doing that the, to sustain yourself and your family and his work, he's going to make those things fruitful. Notice the promise at verse 12. And all nations will call you blessed. In other words, they're going to look at your prosperity. Now, I'm not a prosperity gospel preacher. You know that. But notice what verse 12 promises. All nations will call you blessed, you, for you will be a delightful land. So when people look on, other people are going to look on and they're going to say, Christians go to Costco and fill up four carts of, of food and, and bring it all home in the dump truck. They're not going to, that's not what we're talking about. But what we're looking at here is that God has a blessing for you and me when we're faithful. It's, it's kind of simple like that. God has a blessing for you when you're faithful to him and he will cause you to prosper. Does that mean, that, you know, it's a magic carpet ride all the way into the kingdom? No, it doesn't mean that. He's just saying to you that if you're faithful to me, I'm going to pour out a blessing that is going to shock you. It will be hard for you to describe. But what's interesting is it's not you describing it. It's the onlooking people. And the all nations, verse 12, and all nations will call you blessed. Outsiders and other people are going to say, well, I don't know about that Christianity thing, but the people that believe in Jesus, they seem to have an equilibrium. They seem to have a good spirit. They seem to be kind and generous. They don't seem to be uh, scratching along and just trying to find a rotten apple to eat. God is blessing. Friend, it's a gospel where God blesses those who are faithful to him. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. And many of us have failed to be right. We have not uh, returned tithe and, and Given offering as we should have, uh, we are rebuked. And Lord, help us now to start all over fresh. Help us, Lord, to begin returning tithe and giving offering. Help us to be part of a local fellowship of Christians where we can return that. Now bless us and, and be our leader. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you know what? If, try it out. Put God to the test. He's challenging you. He's telling you, put me to the test and see what I do. We'll see it right here in this passage. God be with you today as you, in the right sense, put God to the test.